Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we are going to rejoice in it. How are y'all doing this morning on this Mental Health Monday? From illness to wellness, my journey, my story, a little bit of my life. I hope everyone is doing well today. I feel good today. I talked to someone earlier this morning. They said, how are you doing today? I said, you know, I feel good. I don't have no pains in my body. I'm able to get up and walk around and drive and was able to go to work. I thank God for that. But anyway, on our last Mental Health Monday, we talked a little bit about the peace of God. And um, that wasn't really dealing much with my story, but to have God's peace, it really is dealing with my story. But today, and, and you're going to be saying, seeing the light going in and out because I'm in my car and this is the best place to do it because I don't have to worry about Coco Penny barking and I don't have to worry about anybody in, interrupting me. So I'm in my car. But anyway, this morning I want to talk about... Um, about how people react when you begin to change your lifestyle. When you begin to change how you respond to people. When you begin to change about what are you what you're going to accept and what you're not going to accept. You know, um, I've been on YouTube, I think, for probably about two months. Um, and I'm learning that when I tell my story, someone came to me the other day and said, I heard you talking about me on YouTube. And the only thing I said, I said, well, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about my story. I'm talking about me. So this channel is not to um, talk about someone. This channel is not to downgrade anyone. But if the shoe fits, change it. And what I mean by that, my son came and told me he was listening to a pastor on YouTube. And he was saying, if the shoe fits, don't wear it. But if the shoe fits, if somebody's saying something that's negative and that, that's your shoe that's on your foot, you need to change it. Okay. I said that... um. I was going to tell y'all some channels that I watch that really helped me a whole lot. And I want to give shout outs to these channels. They don't even know I'm doing it. But if you go to watch their channel, I just ask you to please tell them that Auntie Sandy sent you. Um, when I begin to watch these channels, y'all, they changed my life. And as I told the story before about, I started watching one channel and all these other channels just started coming in my feed. Uh, before I tell you about the channels, I remember one day I was sitting in my den and I was feeling very sad. I was just like, oh my goodness. And I began to just ask the Lord because I talk to the Lord. You don't have to talk to him. And I'm not trying to tell you to talk to him. My story. I talk to God. I mean, I, he already knows everything about me. But I talk to him. I was sitting in my den. And I was really going through a lot of things at the time. And this is after... I've had my treatments after I've gotten better. I've been working and things begin to be better for me. But there was a situation that was in my life. I began to say, God, what is going on? I said, God, I need you to show me what's going on. Because it's a lot of things that I don't understand. It's a lot of ways that people treat me I don't understand. And I asked God to show me what was going on. And my answer to that prayer was, 
See, I used to watch, it's called, she's called Miss Brazil on YouTube. And she does cooking in the air fryer. She does something called Wig Wednesday. If you like wigs, check her channel out. She wears the most beautiful wigs. But anyway, it's because of me watching her channel that these other channels just came up. And so there was one called Living in His Presence. It's called In His Presence. It's a ministry called In His Presence. And I began to watch that. And she was preaching about the empath and the narcissist. And these are two words that I've never heard of. You know, I've heard of being empathetic, but narcissist, I really didn't know exactly what that meant. And so I began to watch her channel and then some other channels begin to come up and some other channels begin to come up and God began to answer what I was asking. And it's by the grace of God that these people who have been through this kind of abuse or know people who've been through this kind of abuse. And it, it can be from anywhere from friends, your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, your husband, your children. But if that shoe fits, you need to take it off. But anyway, I want to share with you some of the channels and I'm going to be looking down at my paper because I don't want to forget anybody. And this is not all of them. This is just a few. And there's one I know I want to um, add today. But anyway, these are some of the channels. And you can write them down. I'll give you a chance to get a pencil and paper if you're going through anything like this. Because this is going to be your beginning from illness to wellness. Once you find out what's going on with you. Okay. Then after In His Presence, I begin to watch Associate Direct Channel. That is A-S-S-C, Direct Channel. That young man was speaking into my life. He didn't even know what he was doing. But I like watching him. Okay. Another one that I watch, and I watch it all the time, is calling Surviving Narcissism with Dr. Les Carter. All these are on YouTube. And when you get on there, they're going to give you resources that you can go to and use. Okay? There's another one called Kim Saeed. That's K-I-M-S-A-E-E-D. And there's another one called Pink Girl Teaches. She goes live and she is awesome. She is amazing. And she's went through a lot and she's sharing her story as well. And there's another one say, just say no to narcs. Okay, that's just a few. And if y'all, y'all check out these channels, because I'm telling you, they help me so much. It's like I'm getting free counseling. But they also have counseling that you can go to online with them. But anyway, that's what helped me in my illness to wellness. Because when I be, when God began to show me what was going on with me, I was like, oh my God. That's what's been going on with me for over 30 years, y'all. And if the shoe fits, take it off. Because when you know better, you do better. You know, there is a scripture that says, guard your heart with all diligence because out of it flows the issues of life. You know, a lot of time people, sometimes they're rambling, sometimes they're mean, sometimes they're ugly, sometimes they act confused, sometimes they go through depression, sometimes they go through a lot of things. But if you were to look in their lives, from their childhood on up until their adulthood, and even from their adulthood on up. Sometimes they've been through something to make them act that way. 
Because when I was a little girl, I was treated very good by my parents. My daddy was amazing. My mother was amazing. I was never abused in my life. I did not experience abuse, abuse until I was 19 years old. And that's when I experienced physical abuse. And then for 30 years from different people, it went on abuse in my life. But as of my childhood, I never experienced that. In my childhood, my mother taught me how to treat people. My daddy taught me how to treat people and try to help people. But anyway, I'm not going to go on with that too long. But be careful how you talk to someone who has mental challenges. Some people are born with mental challenges and they can't help it. Some people have mental challenges after they became an adult because of abuse that was in their life. So just a couple of things. When you're dealing with someone who is going through depression or anxiety, don't tell them like some people told me. I had a lady told me that I was demon possessed and I know I'm not demon possessed because if you have the flu, diabetes, high blood pressure, cholesterol, you're not demon possessed. You have an illness that you need to bring to wellness by doing the things that make you well. And it's the same thing with depression and anxiety. But y'all, I'm going to cut this off. But listen, and I'm serious about this. If you are going through any kind of changes like that, and you don't know why you experience confusion in your life, just um, turmoil all the time, sometimes it's someone in your life that's causing that. And I'm not, you know, a lot of these things that I watch, they say that, that, that people like this can't change. But I believe God can change them. However, I don't have to be the one that do it. It's God that brings on the changing. And even when they change, just let it be. Just let them be changed and give God the glory for it. But don't walk around in hatred. And don't walk around trying to, I'm going to get you back. You walk around in the liberty for where Christ has set you free. But I enjoy talking to y'all today. And I really enjoy all of your channels. I sit and I watch YouTube so long. But anyway, I thank you for watching. And if you go to these channels again, I ask you to just tell them Auntie Sandy sent you. They don't even know who I am. And... If these channels help you, you give these channels a thumbs up and subscribe to them. So, I thank you again. And I ask you, if you like what I'm sharing, that you subscribe to my channel and give me that thumbs up and leave me a nice comment. And if there's any way that I can help you, I will help you the best I can in giving you the knowledge that I have from experience. So I pray that you have a good day today. And who the sun set free, you are definitely free indeed. God bless you and may you have a wonderful day.